another nightmare of a graph and chart question. It's okay. We got to do what we can. Uh, maybe this one's a little bit easier to understand. There's just the bars are a little bit clearer than the last one. The number 10, uh, there's fewer things going on. So if it were me, I would have done this one before number 10. I believe I did do that the first time I took this test. Um, but uh, it's still hard. Let's just see what we can do, right? We got to support the assertion. So let's focus on the assertion. A student is researching the Chinese government's 1992 shift to a market economy that emphasizes trade liberalization. One means of trade liberalization involves expanding from ordinary imports into an emphasis on processing imports, which have two types, processing with assembly in which a firm obtains raw materials from a foreign trading partner without payment and sells the final goods to that partner charging for assembly, and processing with inputs in which a firm expends capital to buy raw materials from a trading partner, processes them into final goods, and sells those goods to whichever trading partner it chooses. To be clear, I understand none of that, so let's continue. The student asserts that while initial efforts at trade liberalization were shaped by Chinese firms' limited capital, the situation resolved during the 2000s. So look at their years here. These are the 2000s. So maybe there's some sort of change around 2003 because maybe it's saying at the beginning of 2000, things weren't great and then something changed and it got better because the word resolved here, talk about strong words. That's a word that regardless of the context, if a problem is getting fixed, something is resolved. I should see it somehow, right? There should be something. So I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that some of these bars in 2006 are higher, but let's take a look at the choices. So we want to support that. So processing imports with uh, inputs. Oh my God. So that's this one. <laughs> we're greater than both ordinary imports and processing imports with assembly in 2006. Well, that's just not true, right? That That's this bar. That bar is not taller than the ordinary inputs uh, one. So that's just false. And so, thank God, we can get rid of that without really having to think deeply about it. Uh, B, from 2000 to 2006, a processing imports with inputs uh, rose much more sharply um, than processing imports with assembly. So, let's just see. Is that true? Uh, uh, imports with inputs. So, uh, processing with inputs is, again, this guy. Rose much more sharply than processing with assembly. I mean, that seems true. I don't know what it means. That seems true. Okay, right? This is going up a little bit. This is going up a lot of it. Um, okay, let's look at C. Change color. From 2000 to 2006, neither processing imports with inputs nor processing imports with assembly were greater than ordinary import imports. Uh, I think so. I think so, right? I mean, it, it, obviously, the processing with 2006 is taller than the ordinary inputs uh, in 2000, in 2000, in 2003. But but we would want to compare year to year. So I think this is also true. Again, I don't know what it means, but we'll move on. D, processing imports with assembly were greater in 2006 than processing imports with inputs in 2000. So imports with inputs in 2000 and imports with assembly in 2006. So that's, uh, oh my God. Uh, we're comparing this box and this box. So yes, that is true as well. But now I can start to think about like the meaning of this, like who cares, right? That just seems like a random, that you're just picking two random things. Wouldn't I want to kind of see a change over time? Again, that word resolved is doing a lot of work for me. If something's resolving, I really want to think about a trend. I want to think about something changing over time, maybe increasing over time. So if this is just randomly comparing two types of things at two completely different times, I don't get how that is showing some sort of resolution to a problem. So I would get rid of that one just because it just seems random. Now, looking at the other two, again, that word resolved is really doing something for me. Uh, if something is rising more sharply, that that maybe sounds like it's it's doing better. Um, are we can basically here? We This is where I do that kind of idea of a wedge. What makes these choices different? Well, this is t talking. This is contrasting the inputs and the assembly ones. This is contrasting both of them with ordinary imports. So what does the, the passage want me to do? It wants me to focus on limited capital. So where is maybe their limited capital? I could kind of go back and look at that. So um, one means of trade liberalization expanding, expanding from ordinary imports into an emphasis on processing imports. Okay, so we, wanna, we want maybe to say ordinary imports are the old school way of doing things and we want to shift away. So if in C, 
if they're saying that the ordinary imports are greater regardless, that doesn't sound like we're resolving the issue. That sounds like or no matter what, things haven't changed. The ordinary one was always the best, and it's it's still the best. So I don't love that. Let's let's see what else we can pull out of this. Um, and then we have the other two, right? So there's emphasis on uh, uh, processing imports, which have two types: processing with assembly, which a firm obtains raw materials from a foreign trading partner without payment and sells the final goods to that partner, charging for assembly; and processing with inputs, in which a firm expends capital, money. To buy raw materials from a trading partner, processes them into final goods, and sells those goods to whichever trading partner chooses. The student asserts that while initial efforts of trade liberalization were shaped by Chinese firms' limited capital. So if you had no money, then it would be hard to expend capital, I guess. So my thinking here is then the processing with inputs initially would be hard to do because you don't have money. You have limited capital. So you cannot uh, uh, buy the raw materials that you need. So you have to just take what you get, I guess, and and deal with it. But as they resolve that situation, as they had more and more money, then maybe they could do the inputs thing more. And that's kind of what's happening, right? This is going up pretty fast as presumably the problem was resolved. Uh, so that suggests um, B, that when we contrast these two types of uh, processing, one has they have differences in the, in the way they take in money if we want to say that the problem of limited capital was resolved, then the thing that involves capital should go up over time. So that's B. Honestly, when I did this the first time, I mostly picked B because I was like, that just kind of sounds like a problem resolving, right? One thing is going up more. I didn't have the time to go back into here and, and really pull these things apart. So I just had to place a smart bet. It ended up being the right bet. B is the answer. But I did answer that the first time I did this question without having done that last extra step of kind of thinking about what all these different pieces mean. It just, to me, it felt like B was better. That B was more kind of sounding like a problem being resolved. And, and I really want to emphasize that because remember, there's so much information they're giving you in these passages and the other types of passages we see. And, and a big skill is being able to pick out the right words. And resolved is a strong word that has nothing to do with the particular subject matter of this passage in this chart. It is purely a word that like means fixing a problem. So I understand what that means in any context. That's the word I latched onto as I was solving the question. And it's to me, the one thing that really matters and, and gets us to the right answer here. So that's a skill that you want to get good at is noticing which words are the ones that count. And I say strong words because they're the ones that have that, that, that meaning that understand, that explain relationships to us. So we're not focused on the, the topic itself, but how that topic is changing, what things are being emphasized within that topic. That's how the SAT really operates, even on these really crazy passages.